what's good YouTube it's your boy just falls back at it again with another video now this one is about the Xbox game showcase this is basically Microsoft's rebuttal to the PlayStation 5 experience um, it was a dope conference overall um, my webcam is having some issues hence why I'm not going to be showing myself uh, but I have I have the footage uh, cut up basically um, all of the most important things I think happened in the conference and I'll be giving you basically my commentary over it so without further ado here we go it's basically a preview of everything you're going to see They started off strong. It was a nice little trailer, a little little cutscene before this. Uh, Halo, Halo uh, Infinite, basically. Um, I'm excited for this game. Um, it's Halo, you know. You can't can't go wrong with Halo. Um, a lot of people like to bash Halo and Gears because that's one of the games they put out. But if you're consistently putting out heat, then why not? Why stop? You know. I mean, I know the last couple games haven't been as good as, let's say, Halo 2 or Halo 3, but you still got millions of players playing it, so that would justify yet another release. And let's be real, no matter what anybody thinks, there's going to be, like I said, millions of people buying this game. Ah, running over a little bird. It's always fun. Now, as far as the graphics, they look all right, but it's like we don't, you don't you don't play Halo for the graphics. You play it for the gameplay, which is looking good right now. Sticky grenade ball. Okay. That was cool. Shot him in the leg, he started stumbling. It's a cool gameplay mechanic. That grappling hook is dope. I don't know if that's due or not. I didn't play Guardian. I haven't played the last couple of Halo games, so don't kill me in the comments. But that grapple hook looks dope. Straight out of straight out of Doom Eternal. This is gonna put in work. One thing I've always loved in Halo is the um, the dynamics of the uh, alien weapons versus the. UNSC uh, weapons or whatever it is. I forget the name. I haven't played Halo in a couple years. Forgive me. I think I said that right though. UNSC. Now this gun, he was putting in work with this gun. Traversal is dope with that grappling hook. Check this out though. This was dope. Add some strategy to otherwise like straightforward shooting. That was cool. Took down the shield and he took out the gun. Now he picked up the shoddy, one of my favorite guns in the Halo series. Look how far away you can hit somebody with the shotty though. That's that's range right there. Now we get some dialogue. The UNSC lost this war months ago. Your people are broken, scattered, hunted, defeated by me. 
The ring is already under our control. A little bit of a recap of the story so far. The Harbinger and the Banished. The way they're setting this up is like it's probably gonna be like the final we battle. We fight stuff. together to honor the will of Atriarchs. But without challenge, I grew weary, lost, alone. But here. I don't even know if that's true. Y'all let me know in the comments. Like I said, I haven't played a Halo game since, uh, I think like last game I played was ODST. So I missed what, Halo 4, Halo uh, Guardians, whatever else came out. Halo Wars. Anywho, on to the next game, which would be uh, State of Decay 3. If you play Save the K, I'm pretty sure this will be more of the same. It just will more graphical fidelity. mentioned a lot of uh, time basically timed exclusive like okay this is a console launch exclusive you know they put a lot of words in front of the word exclusive so it's just like um I don't know it's just are these gonna also be uh, a lot of these games also gonna be on PS4 or do they mean like time exclusive as far as it's gonna go to the PC which I don't really consider it uh you know, in terms of the Microsoft infrastructure and how they do their games, I get it from a business, you know, standpoint. You know, you want to sell me copies of a game on as many different platforms as you can to make you money. So they're obviously going to make all these AAA games on the PC because everybody has a PC. That's just more money for them. So even if you don't have an Xbox, you can still play it on your PC. Even if you don't have a PC, you can play play a lot of these games on game pass like you, you'll see as we go along they announce a lot of uh cool things that i think is going to put microsoft it teaches us to look beyond in a good position this coming generation. to be a light in dark places seek answers this looks like like you're gonna like take care you, you have these creatures you take care of them you help them find their way you nurse them back to health He's some sort of sorcerers or whatever. I'm interested to see the gameplay in this. But only a few truly feel it. Wow. I just got hit with a flood of memories. Love this game love. definitely gave me um Life is Strange vibes. Yeah. Like a drama type game, but there's some sort matter. of spiritual not like we spirit that would happen that night spiritual element depends. like spirits involved or some type of like or some type but of we weird could, we abilities should. that the characters possess that are, that can't be explained. 
Brother, sister, we look out for each other. But that helped drive the narrative of the story. The truth. It's like one of those games. Feels impossible. We're all done with fairy I'll be tales. checking for this because I'm, I'm currently playing Life is Strange too. And you're my brother. it's dope. What I've played so far. And the only way to move forward Mom. is to keep looking back. Been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Everything we thought we knew about Marianne just got thrown out the window. She loved you. She attacked you. We both saw it. I thought coming here would be closing a chapter of our lives. Nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. We don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I can't do this. excited to tell you that we're working on a very yeah. very special version of Ori and the Will of the Wisps. This is basically the specifically Ori, for Xbox Series Ori X. remake. We are now at a time where we can reach levels of fidelity Not and remake, frame rates but they're previously optimizing the game impossible for the console. Xbox One Xbox an Series X. A gorgeous game like Ori can now run at 120 hertz refresh rate in full 4K HDR in its highest quality, delivering unprecedented game feel with silky smooth animation. Super crisp, it's a beautiful looking game, though. I've, I've never played it. I need to get on it. I heard it was like so one of the best platformers. The tight and precise platforming out. feel of this For, game. you know, whenever it did come out. We can also boost the immersion in different spaces in our world by using premium audio tech that we previously just could not simulate in real time. And with all of this crazy hardware power, we can give our players more options with how they want to play our game. We can't wait for all of you to experience this very special version of Ori coming to Xbox Series X with smart delivery later this year. A smart delivery is going to be cool. Like, if they automatically, if, let's say you bought a game from for the Xbox the One X, of the universe comes the it automatically optimizes it for the Xbox uh, Series facility. X. And now, shady corporate intrigue. Marvel of the Gorgon Asteroid. Well, Xbox One, I'm, I keep saying Xbox One X because that's what I have. Full but, of you know, salacious secrets. Y'all know what I mean. And scandalous strangers. Greetings, attractive patron. You are looking downright unlawful today. With the right kind of case. They wanted us to develop a miracle drug. Can put you on the wrong this, side this of a This is cool. Gun. This is uh, basically DLC for Outer Wilds. Um, I haven't played Outer Wilds yet, but I always wanted to get into it. And this this made me a little Thrilled. bit more interested in the game. Danger. Intrigue. I watched a, a speed run. Happen? Somebody do a Trust speed run of this, no and they were like glitching through the map and stuff like that. Ridiculous. What will you find on Gorgon? <laughs> this unit cannot bring you any in its Gorgon. current state. You're waiting for the biggest game of the year. Then wait for Cyberpunk. This is not it. <laughs> but if you're ready for the smallest, this reminded me of uh, Ants. That movie Ants. It's like you know, you real small, you shrunk down, you gotta, you gotta survive. From obsidian you bed bugs and all that shit. Makers of and, and, and ladybugs that are and, nothing know, roaches like and all that. One. They look you. They don't gotta fight this summer, water bugs. Strive together. Some things are indestructible. To thrive together, or just you gotta step on them things with boots to fill them. and go solo. Oh, 
on this is that uh, Obsidian RPG. I'm always excited for new uh, RPGs, especially in this type of world. Turned heroes into queens and kings. And decimated our foes. Now our oaths are lost. Forsaken. And you must face the monsters. Our sins have borne. Is an oath worth the weight of a crown? Fortune, fortune, smile and fade. I haven't seen you much of late. I need you now. I cannot wait. Don't wanna look you not around. We were on our way to start a new life that summer. For our family, it was just a stopover. For mine. Okay, these type of these are like another interactive. This is like another uh, interactive game. These type of games are, um, the sun went down I hate to say they're starting to be overdone, but was it I fate? feel like everybody wants to cash in on this market now. Um, no. And it was a long forgotten it's a dope genre. It's just Buried only certain dark. people do it, do it right. You know? And I don't know if this is going to be the, one of the ones that does it right. And I probably say that because I'm not a fan of the art style, the but you know, we'll now, we'll we'll see. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm most of the type to try to give every game a chance, even if everybody says it sucks. Me personally, I'll I still play it to see if I like it. Cause I don't I don't go off of what strangers say on the internet. <laughs> I I, li I, I, I listen to it to you know just to get a second opinion, to get an initial idea of what I'm walking into, but I don't. I don't live by it. And you can find out more about our location scouting and how we've discovered the history of our setting in a brand this new Hellblade behind two. the scenes development diary, um, which you can view straight after the show. This on is the Ninja basically um, what we've seen already. Plus, they're going to show you the locations that they actually referenced to put inside the game. And then this is Psychonauts 2. With Jack Black singing, uh, I, actually the song's pretty cool. Like if you want to hear the whole song, go on the uh, Microsoft uh, website and you'll hear Jack Black singing with some with some soul. He sound like uh, he sound like Mike, Michael McDermott, Sean Sean McDonald. The ones I keep forgetting, not in love anymore. That one, that guy, the one that Rowan G and them they sampled his song. I think his name is Sean McDonald. That blue-eyed soul. A frozen feeling when my friends pulled me back up. Now I can Look at him. I think the beard allows him to sing like that. I didn't play Psychonauts 1, to be honest, but I heard it was a pretty good game. Like, I had a few friends that liked it. So I know they'll be excited for this when they see this or if they haven't seen the conference already. Because by the time I'm done with this, I'm going to be uploading pretty late. I already, I'm already getting notifications on my phone for the trailers from this thing. But you know what they say, better late than never. I'm thrilled to announce that this fall, our friends at Bungie will bring Destiny 2 to Xbox Series X and Xbox Game Pass. If you are one of the more than 10 million Game Pass subscribers, you also get access to all current Destiny 2 expansions starting this September. 
For Game Pass Ultimate members, Destiny 2 will also be playable on mobile from the cloud. Later this year, Bungie will also release a new version of Destiny 2 that is optimized for Xbox Series X. 4K resolution running at 60 frames per second. Here's an all new look at Bungie's Destiny I don't know about y'all, but I'll show you right here. She fine. That's a fine black woman. Now this this was cool. Um, it's an interesting new uh, weapon weapon or uh, ability that they that they show here. We'll get to it in a few seconds. This you can basically freeze everything. You can create platforms to jump off of. It's kind of it's kind of like a more toned down version of what you can do in Fortnite, but different at the same time because you, you can also freeze your enemies like you create a platform create a your enemy starts shooting at you you create a wall boom create another platform to jump off of and then come down with that with that fist like that that's dope like i can do that all day and I'm, that that'll be something i'll never get boring for me i have uh destiny 2 on pc i know it's free to it's free to play on pc i've been playing through it playing through it every, here and there this is gonna be dope though Definitely wanna. This is Destiny 2 that. that you can play any way you want, thanks to Xbox. I had to just Game leave right here because this is uh, this the world's most inspired black woman right developers here. are working show, huh? on games for Xbox Series X, and we're just honored to be able to collaborate with them. Xbox Case Series you know, X will yeah. empower both you, you, new if you and see my other video, creators you can, you can to bring the future see that. of games <laughs> to life like never before. Unique perspectives, unexpected innovations, and fresh voices that demand to be heard and that we can't wait for you to discover. All of the games you're about to see are being built to launch exclusively on Xbox consoles. Thanks and enjoy. World Premiere. forgot to cut that out because like before each game they're like world premiere like xbox game studio like I, it got annoying after a while so i just cut it out i forgot to cut it out there but oh well this was about an hour i chopped it to about like the actual footage i chopped it to about 30 minutes Try to give y'all the meat and potatoes without just, you know, skipping through, skipping through, skipping through. Because I know some people are just gonna just make a little ten-minute video of them, of you know, them on live stream, um, of them just doing little quick, quick hitter reactions. But I figured I'd just um, give it, a, you know, give it a little more detail to it. You know, it's a little bit of a longer video, but I figure if you don't want to watch the whole full hour, you don't have the time. I give you a. Uh, a bite-sized but still comprehensive uh, version of it. At least that's what I feel like I'm doing. Couple of uh, interesting games here. Uh, this is Warhammer. My Lord Inquisitor. Forty K. Time of Prime and begun our investigations. Our recon squad has been sent into sub-level six of the Hive to determine the full extent of the unrest. I'll know more when they make it back. If they make it back. 
time. I believe that. I think Warhammer is that. Uh, I think it's the RCS. That's what I'm mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong. Tetris, yeah, Tetris is Tetris. What do you, what do you, what do you expect? Sure, you want to drop here? Oh yeah, already lacing up my boots back here. What we got? Another good friend. This definitely gave me uh Mario Sunshine vibes. You'll see why in a second. Let me check. Um, if you can't already tell by like how she's dressed. Find anything good? You're not gonna believe this. And there it is. Ouch. What the? Gotta clean up the uh the gunk. So a next gen Super Mario Sunshine. So if you miss Super Mario Sunshine, here's your chance. You have gunk monsters. Decent band, by the way. With if you card. if you're into metal, you know music like I am. This one looked interesting. It's called the Medium. Uh, she's in two different worlds at one time. Definitely gives off Silent Hill vibes. You'll see in a second. Every story has two sides. A regular. So a darker and deeper truth, not unlike a nightmare. I can see both. Worse, I can live them. Mm. Definitely give off Silent Silent Hill type vibes. Hello, anyone there? That's gonna be freaky. Playing in two different worlds at once. Wonder if there'll be a multiplayer element to that. tell already this is a uh, fancy star online too uh, recently dropped for the uh, Xbox one on the marketplace for free free to play I believe um, yeah I don't remember paying for it I downloaded it it's like 64 gigs 
and then um this is an expansion to it. This thing is called New Genesis. So you have new enemies, you know, new weapons, new attacks, new skill trees, and stuff like that. So for all you Final, Final Fantasy Star people that have been waiting all these years for it to come out, you're already getting a DLC. Sega, Sega really, really did job justice with this. Like I know some people that's probably gonna go nuts over this when they see this. Me, I feel like it's uh it's one of the great iconic art of JRPGs. But for me it's nothing that I get like whoa freaked out about. To Today, make sure for it. That's you saw blow. 10 world premieres and 22 console launch exclusives. Game Pass members can play every game you have seen today from Xbox Game Studios and all of our partners in the subscription or free to play. This is just a peek at some of the new That's titles I like coming that. to Xbox And then you saw the, uh, there's going to be a Gears some of the RTS. Some games you already love and some you have yet to play will also be optimized for Xbox Series X. Games like Forza Horizon 4, Gears 5, and Sea of Thieves. You'll get the next-gen upgrades at no additional cost when they launch. You Smart can expect delivery, a lineup is, of dope. over 100 which, titles dope. for Xbox Series X this holiday season. With Series X and Game Pass, Xbox is the place to play. And you are at the center of everything we do. Now, you may have noticed we didn't get to visit all of our Xbox game studios. They didn't cover all the, that all the studios. That means we'll have more to share later this year. But until then, here's one more thing. Probably around launch time. World premiere. And then this one, you know, people... There's some people that's going to go nuts over this. But I don't know what it is. Is it going to be a remake? Is it a sequel? A prequel? A pre-sequel? I, I don't know. A remaster. The world is filled with stories of legendary heroes. You're gonna have to wait and see. And treacherous villains. Of fantastical creatures and wondrous places where nature and magic live in perfect harmony. Not all stories Darn. have happy endings. <laughs> but yours has yet to be written. Yep, you should know by now. Yep. Is it a sequel? Is it a remake in the first one? Because last last we were on, what, Fable 3 or something like that? Or Fable 2? I don't know. We shall see. But that was dope. Um... I'm a, I'm excited for for quite a few of these games. Um, Xbox is coming strong with that Game Pass. You don't even have to have an Xbox to have it. What well, X Cloud? But if you do have Xbox, you can play all of these games on the Xbox Game Pass. So all you gotta do is get the subscription. You don't gotta spend money on on all the discs. You don't gotta spend sixty dollars on twenty two of these games. That's value right there. So they might not have the big ba big banger heavy hitters or as much as Sony does, but they. Uh, they come strong, so it's pretty much it. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It's your boy, Justice Falls. Peace.